In the beginning of high school, I didn't have a lot of friends, but I met my best friend, Lauren, in my French class. Uh, we, Mademoiselle Basings came in and she was wearing another stupid outfit and I kind of commented, you know, look at, look at her shirt and uh, Lauren turned around and she was like, oh yeah, but it goes great with her shoes. And from there we kind of clicked instantly. We found that we had like five out of eight classes together. And so we went from class to class talking and passing notes and we like bonded instantly and she was just my best friend ever. Freshman and sophomore, in the beginning of junior year, we were very, very close. We would go to the beach together, go to different parties, we dressed up in these 70s outfits, and every time we would ever get together, it would just be an instant blast. We would constantly be laughing and constantly having fun, and I don't know, we just kind of clicked as people. In junior year, Lauren and I decided to do a major project. We both love Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the TV show, and since the musical episode is the best one, in our opinions, out of all seven seasons, we decided to recreate that. And we did. We got a huge binder, we got some song lyrics, the whole script, and we even planned out scenes. And then we got the instrumental versions of the songs, and then filmed our voices uh, using my dad's professional studio. And we even started to go out to graveyards and do night scenes and filming, and it was fabulous. But Kind of as the project went on, the SAT um, and college pressure kind of beat down on everyone. And so people started to slack off, people started to say that they couldn't come to a couple days. And I really wanted the project to keep going, so I kind of pressed on them. And as I did, I think I pushed my friends away from me more. And by the end of it, the project kind of just shattered apart. Lauren didn't really stick by me. I was the main director, so she resented me for how the project ended, and she blocked me out of her life. And so she blocked me from Facebook, she stopped talking to me, and gave me the cold shoulder uh, the rest of my junior year. After things ended with Lauren, I didn't really move on for a while. It took me the whole summer to kind of take steps forward. But I think what really, really got me going is that I had some leftover friends and we really bonded together. And then I had a video production class and I just instantly fell in love with it more. And I just did several projects and I did like a stop motion love story. And then me and my friends, we continued to do projects together. Started to do some animation and we even shot a little horror short story together. So I think it was really a combination of the friends and um, storytelling. I continued to fall in love with just shooting and writing um, for television and film. And so I started to look up different schools that would have that. And Columbia was perfect for me. It was within my price range. It was far enough away from my home. And I just loved the diversity and atmosphere. When I went to the open house, it was great. I went to the television department and they showed me around and I just, I knew that this was where I wanted to be. After Lauren blocked me from Facebook, we didn't really talk at all. We had a few conversations, but they were mostly negative, so it wasn't very good. But while preparing for this project, I decided to call her up and get her side of the story and she ended up talking to me and we had a really great conversation and we even planned on getting lunch this Christmas.